Okay, so we got another trophy list video for you, and today we're going to be looking at Defy Me's account, who kindly provided it in the comment section of her previous video. And if you would like me to review yours in the future, then that's exactly what you need to do. Just leave a comment in the section down below with your PSN profile. Now, straight off the bat, I can already see that this person is uh, is a gamer. Straight up, 112 games played, 111 completed, 99.94% completion, only four unearned trophies and well yeah i'm guessing uh I'm, we might see what those are as we scroll down but there's only 99 platinum so it's not as high as some of the previous videos but just because there's less doesn't mean there's not more uh there as i've always said myself i would rather have a lower number of platinums but they're all games that i've enjoyed rather than 3000 platinums and they're all jumping jack jumping bean jumping cat pet the squirrel all those types of games so already sorted it out into alphabetical and platinums only and straight off the bat I can see a Plague Tale Innocence twice, two days between them so I'm not quite sure if that's uh, partial auto pop or maybe just knew what he was doing on the PS4 version and then just flew through it on the PS5 version. I don't know how long the game is itself, I'm pretty sure it's about 15 hours but this is one that I want to get to at some point. Um, I know that it's uh, very well regarded in the sense of that it's a good game. Uh, a Way Out, brilliant game. Obviously co-op, one that I've more recently got myself. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2, nice. Uh, one of the OG Assassin's Creed. Like, they'll, they'll never make them the same. Like All, all the later ones in comparison to the uh, Ezio, Ezio collection. Absolute trash. Astro's Playroom everybody in the world should have this platinum it's simple it's you know came free on most ps5s i'm not i don't think it's still the case but i could be wrong i think i noticed um a couple of days ago or yesterday that the price has actually gone up recently and i believe it's as of today and i'm guessing this is why it's 94 percent maybe that's the four unearned trophies but they've actually added dlc to it um so if you if you're a hundred percenter, that's one that you uh, you'll have to revisit. Um, Black Skylands, I'm not sure what that is, um, but fairly high percentage. Uh, but at least it's not auto, uh, not auto pop. Uh, well, uh, yeah, at least it's not an auto pop or uh, a shovelware. Uh, Black the Fall, very high percentage. So, but then you know, from from metaphorical trash to like just absolute badass bloodborne D does it get any better I, I i think the trophy list is going to get better but in terms of games bloodborne absolute peach it, it, it like i'm kind of kind of uh leaving bloodborne for myself until like i hit a certain milestone maybe it'll be my 100th um but then again it's a souls like and i, I suck at souls likes i really do uh, Bridge Constructor Portal. Okay. Uh, Cloud Punk. Nice. Quite quite a low-ish percentage. Code Vein. Yes. A guy like th this is one that I, I love. I I enjoyed Code Vein. I actually need to go back and get the platinum on it. I played it way before I uh, became a platinum hunter. Uh, Cuphead. Fair play. Round of applause. One that I don't think I would ever earn in a million years, and that is full on skill issue. Uh, Dead Space, nice. I, I thought, in terms of uh, like remakes, it was a brilliant remake. Uh, Deadlight Director's Cut, okay. So it only took a day and 11 minutes, 3.82%. It either you're goated or a lot of people have brought it and just not bothered with the Platinum. I actually picked the uh, Director's Edition up uh, a couple of days ago. And I think it was like £10. And I was like, uh, But, fair play. Like, hands down, fair play. I, I put my hands up, but hands down. Um, Death's Door, twice. Uh, not auto pop either, so nice. I, um... No, I'm, I don't know. Is that the one that was... Uh, free with PS Plus, I, th I think it was, um, but nice you you've uh, got both the PS4 and the PS5 versions. 
Demon Souls, like I said, goated. Surprised that the percentage is so high on it. Um, but another one that I want to get back to. I'm pretty sure that I brought this day one, Demon Souls. And I think I think I've played like the opening half an hour of it and I was just like oh, I, I want to play something different um Doki Doki Literature Club a personal uh personal favorite of mine purely because uh I have, don't get me wrong I haven't got the platinum on it but I remember we're playing it for the first time and it just shocked me like I, I, I just came so far out of left field and and now like you know i've got um younger family members that are like oh my god doggy doggy and i'm like okay enjoy um i'm guessing is that is that an auto pop four months two weeks for on both same date i'm guessing so maybe uh elden ring fair play one that I'd love to do, but I just I can't be bothered to go through a full playthrough again because I missed a couple of the weapons. Uh, Endling Extinction Forever, nice. That was a that was a cute little game. Far Cry Three, yep, absolute classic, and of course classic edition. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, PS4 and PS5. Um, again, same day, so I'm guessing Auto Pop. Uh, God of War and God of War Ragnarok. Uh, God of War I've done. God of War Ragnarok is on my list. I'm just not prepared to spend like £50 on a game that has uh, has been out quite a while now. Um, and I've occasionally seen it for like £35. But I don't know. That I think I, I think it's still too soon for me after playing God of War, the original. Um, but I mean... I'm actually quite shocked. That's a very high percentage for for that platinum. But nice, fair play. Uh, Haven, I don't really know what that entails, but fair play. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, absolute goated game. Uh, easy platinum. Uh, the trophies, uh, shut up phone. The trophies are um, it's pretty straightforward. Makes it look like it's a potential shovelware, but... We, we all know that it's not. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. I, I think I've said it on every video that's had this platinum. I couldn't do it. The Merlin Trolls just got so annoying and boring for me. I just gave up. Uh, Hollow Knight. Nice. Now that's one you don't see very often. 9.4%. Lovely stuff. Then Forbidden West twice. And Zero Dawn once. And it doesn't look like they're auto pops either, so very nice. Fair play to you on those. Uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, nice. In Sound Mind, I actually picked this up not long ago, uh, but I haven't. I haven't even took it out of the cellophane as of yet. Um, I don't really know what it entails. I know it's like a. I know it's a horror puzzle, I believe. Uh, but fair play, you got that platinum. Uh, it takes two twice um like i'm i'm getting a bit confused like a lot of your platinums are like they've took a while but then the second time around it's took you hardly any time at all and the only thing i can think is it's a case of you've played it on ps4 you've like learnt the game understood the game and then just done it again on ps5 and just flew through it um but fair play nice to you um Kenna or Kena, Bridge of Spirits. That one again, twice. Uh, same same scenario. Two weeks, six days on the PS4. Only the five days, eleven hours on the PS5. But still, nice. That is a trophy, the platinum trophy that I don't think I'll ever earn. Even though it's a cutesy um, looking game, the the hard difficulty run was was torture. Um, Kingdom Hearts three, nice. I'm guessing that's one you've gone back to. Yeah, quite very recently. But fair play. I don't think I could bring myself to do it. I love the Kingdom Hearts games, but there's just so much to them. Um, knack. <laughs> you know something? Fair play. 4.8% on that one. I actually picked this up. Um, I think it was yesterday in, in the game store. And I thought, like, you don't see that very often these days. At least not platinum-wise. 
Uh, but you've got it. And Knack 2. I think Knack 1 was definitely the better game out of the two. Even though Knack 2 was uh, an improvement, the, the original was better. Uh, Life is Strange. Nice. Uh, Little Nightmares 2. Nice. Very high percentage. Can't say I'm surprised. It's one that I own. Um, but uh, then you've got it again. Doesn't look like they're auto pops, but then we go into Little Big Planet 3. 1.61% fair play on this one. That is, uh, I know that that's a platinum trophy to be proud of. Mafia, nice blast from the past there. Uh, all of the Spider Man, no, not all of the Spider Man, sorry. Spider Man, uh, the original, not the original, the, the first one, and Miles Morales. Both, uh, from the looks of it, not auto pops, but high percentages. Uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, nice. I wanted this one, uh, and when I when I eventually got around to looking at it, they'd uh, shut the servers off because I'm slow as hell. Uh, apparently, we've everything. Uh, Monster Hunter World and Iceborn. I love this game. But I would never go for the Platinum. Not not by myself, at least, anyway. I think I'd need to have somebody to run through it with me. Um, but I know a couple of people who've got this who aren't like Platinum Hunters, but they still um, went for this Platinum or these Platinums. And I know it took them a long time, like 150 hours or something like that. I don't know if it was the same for yourself, but they are some impressive Platinums. Moonlighter, absolutely peach of a game. I... I I played this so much when it first came out. The little, like, 8-bit, uh, you run your own shop, you go into the dungeons, you bring out items, you sell them for more money to buy better equipment. Absolutely brilliant game. Um, and I can't... I think one of the trophies bugged on it, because, like I said, I was playing it literally day one. And I think one of the trophies bugged out on it for me. So I just never, like... As, as it went later on and I realised that that trophy hadn't popped and it should have, I kind of just like lost interest in it. Um, and I think I was struggling with the um, defeating like bosses without getting hit or like I believe there's some of the trophies on it. Uh, Mortal Shell, nice. I've never actually seen any gameplay of it, but I believe it's um, it's Souls-like if I, if I recall from what I've read. Uh, Necromunda, Hired Gun, nice. Quite a low percentage on uh, on that one as well. We've got some absolutely uh, beautiful Platinums. Ratchet & Clank, yeah, perfect. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, absolutely brilliant game. Perfect game, like perfect trophy list. And it shows because that's a pretty high percentage for it. But I'm not, like, not judging. I've got it. I would... Uh, encourage anybody that hasn't played it to get this platinum trophy absolutely amazing returnal brilliant game absolutely phenomenal only reason why i haven't gone back to get this the rng trophy i know my luck i would spend days searching for like one last item because i've just got like the worst rng when it comes to gaming uh shadow of the tomb raider nice I don't know if that's the one I played or not, because the, the Tomb Raider games confuse me. Like, th there's like three of them: Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I think I think one of them might just be called Tomb Raider, and then there's another one I believe, and I don't know which one. Like, I could obviously easily check, but there's one that I've definitely played, and then the other two. I keep I know I keep picking them up when I go into the store, and I'm just like I don't know if I have played this one or not. I should probably check, although. I enjoyed it, but not enough to want to go through another one. Uh, at least not yet. Um, Slime Rancher, nice. 6.99% on that one. That's one I've been looking at, to be honest. Uh, Sniper Elite 5, nice. Uh, I... See, this is really confusing me. It doesn't take much to confuse me, because I'm dumb as hell. But, it says... Three months, four weeks on both. Auto pops are usually like, you know, six seconds. So does this mean that you've... I don't, I don't understand. 
Same day, same time it's took. Regardless, fair play, Sniper Elite. That's a, that's a, a long platinum and a, a grind new one, I believe. I think I looked into doing this with one of my friends and after we did like the first mission, uh, my friend was like, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And it was like, okay, cheers, mate. Um, Spirit Father, don't really know what that is myself. Uh, I'll have to look into that one shortly, but uh, a fairly decent percentage. All of the Spyros, I, you know, everyone should play this. Like any um, Platinum Trophy Hunter who uh, is new or hasn't done the Spyros should. They're quick, they're easy, they're nostalgic, and they're decent, fun little games. Uh, the only one I'm missing is uh, Spyro 3. I just I, I like to give myself like a, a big gap between playing the same games. Like you might have seen other YouTubers that have done like you know every single Assassin's Creed one after the other. Nah, that that would that would literally drive me insane. I, I, if I play if I play like an Assassin's Creed, I'm not touching another Assassin's Creed for about a year minimum. I can't do it. I think, it, I think it was like literally eight or nine months between Spyro 1 and Spyro 2. And even Spyro 2, like as good as the game it was towards the end, I was like, oh god. Like, I just want to end it now. Not my life, the game. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, nice. Again, I'm quite surprised that that's such a high percentage. But then, I guess more recently, there has just been a massive influx of people who were chasing platinum trophies. Uh, Stellar Blade, nice. Obviously, that's fairly recently come out, and that has got a very high platinum percentage. Even the DLC's got a high percentage. I don't know what the DLC is on the Stellar Blade, but you know, well done, fair play. Then, what one that's after my own heart because I've recently done this myself, Stray. I, 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 I literally was like, it's a cat. It's a game about a cat. How, how can this be good? Everyone was raving about it. And I was like, I, I can't see the appeal. I've recently played it. I can see the appeal now. Like, yeah, it's not the like it's not the greatest game in the world, but it's a fun game. And you know, I I've got the platinum on it. So nice. Um five hours forty four minutes. Yeah, that that's doable. It's doable. Uh Subnautica, nice. There, there's a an auto pop. Like that, that's the kind of auto pops that I know. Like I, one minute 40, 41 seconds. But fair play, you did it uh, legitimately on PS4. Uh, Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan. Again, same date, same amount of time. Low percentages, so nice. The Evil Within. Oh my God. This is one I would love, but I just there ain't no way that my skill is getting through. A, uh, is it a Kuma um, difficulty? Absolutely no chance. But I, I loved the game. Like the game itself, absolutely loved it. Uh, I think I, I think I enjoyed number two more, but especially uh, when there's the uh, the wailing lady or the wailing ghost, and it's coming through the pad. I remember playing that, being like late at night on in my house by myself pitch black lights are off and everything and it started coming through my pad and i've i've never like turned the light on so quick i shat my pants uh the forest another amazing platinum with a low percentage nice last of us part one two and remastered um is that i'm not sure is is that the Last of Us Part 1 with the multiplayer? Or is that after they took it out? Regardless, like, you know, nice fair play. Obviously, the first one didn't take too long. The other the other two um, took a while. But nice fair play. You know something? i, I, I got to give you props as well. Like, you, every single game you have done the DLC for. And, and I did notice um, when I, I was uh, scrolling down, you are on the Astrobot um DLC, it literally came out like I think it was yesterday or might have been this morning, but you're already on it. But this is really clean, everything 100%. So, you know, I'll, I'll give you mad props for that. Uh, the Order 8086, nice Outer Worlds, that is a 
it's higher a higher percentage than some of the others but still that is a very impressive uh, platinum um i'm guessing that i'm guessing that's like a semi auto pop because i know that that's a big game Either that or you, you like literally played this for the full 33 hours, like a full day of nine hours. You just didn't get to sleep and just cracked on it. I wish I had that uh, I wish I had that time available. Because I would do that kind of stuff. Um, the Stanley Parable, Altered Deluxe, nice. Survivalists, don't know what that entails. I've never seen it before, but fair play. Under 10% means it's a goated. Uh, Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, yep, yeah, your you telltales, if you haven't got them, they're pretty easy, but fair play, I actually haven't got any of them, not because I uh, I, I think they're like you know beneath me or anything like that, but um, I just haven't got around to them, and to put it bluntly, I, my attention span just doesn't, doesn't hold on for too long, I, I'm pretty sure I have played the first Walking Dead one, and, and like I got so far into it and I was just like, can I can I shoot people now? Like that, that that's that's how my brain works. Like you know, I, I will be playing one game and then I'll just be like, oh, I fancy driving around a racetrack really quick. Oh, actually, I want to fight people. Actually, I want to shoot people. Actually, I want to hack and slash. Like I I just pew, pew, pew. that's what I play multiple games at once just to you know um, deal with that uh, mindset. Uh, Trek to Yomi. I don't know what this game. Like I, I know this game. I'm pretty sure I own it. Yes, I do. Um, but I've never played it. And I, ha I actually haven't seen the gameplay for it. But they're both low percentages. So, nice. Um, 12 minutes. I, I don't want, I don't want a bad mouth it. Because I, I, know what I know what 12 minutes is. And it's a, it's a decent game. So, fair play to you on that one. Now, I did, now I spotted this earlier. I spotted this near the top. Because I think this is like your rarest platinum. But Unravel 2. I've never played Unravel like the first one. So I don't know how difficult this is. But the fact that it's only 1.5% of Platinum Earners suggests to me that goaded. That there must be something very tricky in this game, or like something that requires utmost skill. But you've got it, so hands down fair play until dawn yep brilliant i really want to revisit this even more so now that they've announced the remake of it i just know that i'm gonna mess it up i, I remember playing it like when i was still living with my parents and i remember holding the pad steady as hell in my hands and i don't know what was going on that day i must have been like a recovering alcoholic or something i've never been an alcoholic but like that's that's the kind of vibe I'm, I'm getting because like it said that i was moving i was dead still i even put the pad down on my bed and i didn't move and it still messed up well didn't mess up but still like got my people killed i was so annoyed <clears throat> but fair play you got that one untitled to goose game nice quite a high percentage on that one now never used to be uh, i own the game physically never played it I've watched uh, 10 seconds clips. I know what it is. I just haven't got around to playing it yet. Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Nice. Uh, what? And I was, I was about to say, where's Watch Dogs 1? But to be fair, if you've done two, I, I wouldn't bother with number one. And lastly, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Of all the Wolfensteins, this one is probably one of the most annoying, in my opinion. I've done, I've done a couple of them. I haven't done mine, Lieben. That that that's that's beyond my skill set for the time being. Maybe in the future, but Young Blood. I'm pretty sure that this one's a very annoying platinum. But you've got it. So fair play. And, and to be honest, mate, that like yes, you've got a lot of games multiple times. Um, but as far as I can tell, you haven't got that many auto pops. Like you've got a couple, but not that many. Um, we'll just go through your milestones now. So your first platinum was Watch Dogs 2. Uh, first trophy. First platinum was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Your 10th platinum was Ratchet & Clank. 20th platinum was Cuphead. 30th platinum was Plague Tale Innocence. 40th Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. 
50th Far Cry 3, 75th Monster Hunter, and your latest platinum was Kingdom Hearts 3. Nice. And yeah, as I said earlier, rarest trophies. We got Unravel 2, Little Big Planet 3, Unravel 2, Iron Icon Clasts. I don't recall seeing that in the list. Is that one that you haven't platinumed yet? I'm guessing so. Well, anyway, and then uh, the Platinum for Unravel 2 being the most rare. And in your trophy cabinet, you've put in there Living Legend, The Golden Touch, and Conqueror of the New World. All nice and well-deserved Platinums. Uh, trophies and Platinums. Um, so, yeah, so absolutely fantastic list. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope you get that back to 100% because... I don't think I've seen many people with a pure 100% completion. Not at, not at this level of games. Like, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the only 100% I've seen have been like, you know, 10, 12, 15 games. But to have 112, granted a couple of them are, are, are auto-pop, but this high up with 100% pure gamer and, and obviously like massive skill set. So, fair play very nice profile list and thank you for submitting it so thank you everybody for watching and if you want me to review your list in the future don't forget to leave the psm profile down below in the comment section and i'll catch you next time